Hey everybody, Corey here from Parta Pro. We're at the Edmonton Demo Center and this cool new setup that we've got to test out all this great stuff. Today we're showing you the GC3 with FSX Play. Um, we've got this main screen here that we've loaded up. We've already logged in on the top left hand side here. Top right we've got our settings. So you've got the language, units, graphics, devices, players, and uh, game options. Empty at the moment probably stuff soon to come. Uh, then we can go in back and we've got courses, practice, games. So in the games section we've got close as the pin and long drive options. We've got in practice they do have the Paris driving range as well as you can practice on any of the five courses here. So uh, great options there. Uh, if you want the full detailed practice definitely go check out the FSX 2020 software much more deep in-depth detail. But for today we're going to focus on the courses and in that courses you've got your list of courses you can add in my favorites um, to activate the codes you just enter your activation code here and uh, hit submit. The big co the cool thing in here is you can do like a quick play under this little play button right here or you get into the details and that's what we're going to do here as we go into settings and more. You can set up multiple players. You can set up to eight players which is fantastic for uh, a big round of fun. So, and then to get rid of your players, uh, you can drag it over to remove, or you can click on it and hit remove. In each player, you can set up the T boxes, and you can set up the left or right handed and enter your handicap. We've actually got uh, one entered here. Uh, that wouldn't be my handicap, but uh, let's let's just move on with that shall we in the uh, setup here you can go there's basic mode at the top here and top middle and then there's also advanced advanced is kind of cool because you can actually go through and take that whole selection let's pick that I just want to play hold number two I can clear out that section if I just want to play front nine or just the back nine or if I just want to play hole 13 because I feel lucky today you can definitely do that uh, we're going to play, put them all on and in the rules um, you're going to see all the different scoring options. we got stroke play, scramble, match, stableford, modified stableford and back to stroke. keeps scrolling through uh, and then you can go through and change your pin placement. Easy, normal, difficult. We always suggest easy if you're just starting out putting on any sim is a bit of a challenge so always good to do that. Um, and especially when you're just getting used to the sims, we'll always suggest that you put your mulligans on. Again, you can do that. You can have unlimited or customize it. Hey, I want, uh, uh, we can have as many as we want in here. Let's go 900 or 99 mulligans if you really wanted to. But uh, let's just leave it on unlimited. Putting mode, standard, auto, and manual. So standard putting uh, is just once you land on the green, you just put it out right to the cup or up to your gimme distance. Your auto putting, as soon as you land on the green, it will uh, determine the amount of strokes based on your lie, and then it adds on that based on the distance. And manual putting, so if you want to putt on a putting green and enter the number of putts, or if you just don't even want to putt on the green, you just know how many putts it's going to take you to get there, you can use this option and then just enter manually enter the number of putts. On that note, we are going to move down to the uh, practice, uh, or sorry, the gimme distance. So the gimme distance, you can have off three feet, six feet. Again, you can customize it. So nice that they have all those features there. We'll leave it on a six footer. And practice, you can practice within the game. So you can have that enabled or disabled. Um, always nice to have it enabled just in case you want to find a lie that you just want to keep going on. Um, but if you're playing your buddies, you probably don't want to have that on. So stroke limit, you can uh, put it as double par or unlimited. That gets you up into that portion. We'll go into the terrain. This is a big thing that we always get asked for is lie penalty. So with the lie penalty um, it definitely makes it more realistic um, and then you can spick, peck your rough, your fairway firmness, fairway speed, green firmness, green speed so you can control bounce and roll. So that's all good stuff in our terrain. Weather's quite cool in here um, and cool I mean by it's a good thing that uh, you can go in and adjust a bunch of stuff. Now the GC3 has a built-in barometer. You can use um, the real-time weather that would be on the course or you can uh, pick out whatever that you want. So you can use your altitude. That grabs it from the barometer that's in the GC3. 
We like playing with no wind. We'll do that for today. Um, again, they have this basic and advanced. So I'm just going to go take you quickly to the advanced section. You can actually pick wind speeds exact miles per hour up to 30. You can pick your temperature. You can keep that clear. Let's go super clear on here. Uh, clear sky, you know, if you don't want any fog and you want a clear sky. Time of day, this really makes a difference in the shadows. We've definitely seen a lot darker shadowing when we change this time of day. Um, and if you want to play in the rain, again, you can change your altitude and your wind direction even. So lots of cool things that you can do in that weather. If you don't want to go through there and you just want to have some presets, there's like a morning AM, 8 AM, sun fog. Uh, afternoon 12 p.m. and so forth. That's kind of a cool thing. You can even do the nighttime uh, nighttime downpour. That's that's going to be a fun one. So then you can go in. There's a flyby of the course. There's photos of the course and course info. You can get all that detail in here. And once you've got all that stuff played with and in, in place, you can just hit play and it will start loading up. As it's loading, it tells you what time of day you pick, the weather, the wind, and altitude. So again, we're just loading up the course. You see a nice splash screen. And it starts off the flyby, gives you your information, uh, 546 yards, par 5, and your index. Now it get, takes you to this screen. This screen gives you all of these details that you can just get into. Now you can minimize a lot of these things. Super cool. I'm in the top right here just trying to bring these things out. So if you don't want a lot of this stuff to come up uh, or be visual on the screen, you can do that. Uh, you can pick up your analysis. You can pick out your conditions again. You can choose to skip the hole. And there's all sorts of these things and you can pin them if you want, if you want to pin them up or take them off. That's really cool. Very, very customizable um, settings here. So lot, lots and lots to do. Um, they do say that you can have up to five, so it says two slots remaining. So if I wanted to add uh, a few other ones that you can get in there. Um, so that's just this is on the pin. This one just takes me right to the green. Lots of different uh, options in here. So what we're going to do next is uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll show you a full uh, hole or even two. So stay tuned for that. For more information on the Foresight Sports GC3 FXX Play or anything else, you can always visit us at www.par2pro.com.